Hello everyone, this is Ma'am Amano and this lecture video is all about distance and displacement. So we will be focusing here on the sample problems, okay? First, let us define the two distance as a scalar quantity that refers to how much ground an object has covered during its motion. So this refers to the actual length covered by the object while it is moving and then the displacement is a vector quantity that refers to how far out of place an object is it is the object's overall change in position now for the formula the symbol for distance is denoted by small d and then to find the total distance the symbol for that is d sub t capital is equivalent to the individual distances of the object it covering it okay so this applies to the parallel and perpendicular vectors and then for displacement, which is denoted by delta, because this is change in position, and position it can be measured through distance. So you will be using here the delta, a Greek letter that denotes a change. So for displacement, it is equivalent to the displacement of individual magnitudes in the distances. Kapag mayroong bar sa taas, it means a displacement. Ibig sabihin mayroong direction. Dito tingnan ninyo walang bar. Ibig sabihin ang focus lang nito ay magnitude because this is a scalar quantity. But on this one, mayroong bar sa taas denoting the displacement or direction. Okay? So this applies to the parallel. Pag parallel, add mo lang yung kanyang individual displacement. Now, kapag perpendicular vectors naman, to find the displacement of that, you just have to get the Pythagorean theorem in which displacement is equivalent to the square root of the d1 squared or the first displacement plus the second squared. Then you also need to find its location on the Cartesian plane, whether it is quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, quadrant 4, for you to be able to find the reference angle or the direction uh, in which it is referenced or far off for the change in position. So, kailangan mo rin niya i-plot. So, for quadrant 1, that is equivalent to the reference angle, the direction itself in reference to the displacement, aside from this one, you also need to find this one. For quadrant 2, that is 180 minus the reference angle. For quadrant 3, that is 180 plus reference angle. And then for quadrant 4, that is 360 minus the reference angle. And then to find the reference angle, that is inverse of tangent multiplied to the y over x. Now, let us have the first problem, sample problem. Stan walks 10 km west to the grocery store. He shops, then walks back 10 km east back to his house. What distance did he cover? What was his displacement? Now, with, let us proceed on the given values. The first displacement given was the 10 km west, this one. This is your first displacement. This is displacement because it has the magnitude, the unit, and the direction. So this is your first displacement, 10 km west. And then the second displacement is uh, 10 km east. Now, we are looking for the total distance and the total displacement. For solution in the total distance, you just have to add the magnitudes of the displacement. You will disregard the direction. So that is total distance is equivalent to the distance, first distance, plus the second distance. The first distance is 10 kilometers. The second distance is 10 kilometers. So that is 10 kilometers plus 10 kilometers, and that is equivalent to 20 kilometers. Now, to find the displacement, that is, you just have to add the individual displacement of the uh, given values. So in this case, you will consider the uh, location. North is positive, south is negative, west is negative, east is positive. So for this one, we have here 10 kilometers to the west, then therefore that is negative. Negative 10 kilometers plus the second displacement, which is 10 kilometers to the east, and that therefore is a positive one. So negative 10 kilometers plus 10 kilometers, that is zero. Meaning to say, bumalik lang siya. Okay, so the displacement here is zero. Okay, so for example, that is 10 kilometers. Let me use a grid here. So para mas maitindihan ninyo yung displacement, i-graph ko rito ah. For example, uh, the first displacement is 10 kilometers going to the west. So bilang tayo ah, 1, for example, galing siya dito. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So ayan yan, going to the west. Ngayon bumalik daw siya papunta sa east. Gamit tayo nabang kulay. Uh, highlighter natin. 10 din daw. So, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Bumalik lang siya. Kaya ang displacement natin ay 0. Whenever an 
a person goes back to its original position, then the displacement is 0. Now, for the second problem, I have here Tyler drives 50 kilometers north, then Tyler then drives back 30 kilometers to the south. What distance did he cover and what was his displacement? Uh, let us state the given values. We have here the first displacement at 50 kilometers north and then second displacement at 30 kilometers south. We are looking for the total distance and the displacement. To find the total distance, you just have to add the individual magnitudes of the displacement. You will disregard the signs or the magnitudes. So you just have to add the magnitude, the absolute value. And the absolute value is positive here on this case. So that is 50 km for the first magnitude of the distance plus 30 km on the next distance. So you just have to add that. That is 50 km plus 30 km and then that is 80 kilometers. The total distance therefore is 80 kilometers. Now to find the displacement that is parallel. It is parallel. It is in line with one axis. So you just have to add that. And then you have to consider here the signs of the direction in adding. So first we have here the first displacement which is at the north and therefore it is positive. So we have here positive 50 kilometers plus the second displacement is going to the south. Therefore the magnitude of this one is negative 30 kilometers. And then if you will multiply that, that will become a negative. So that will be 50 kilometers minus 30 kilometers. And then therefore the displacement is 20 kilometers going to the which is bigger, we have here the positive 1 going to the north. So the displacement is 20 kilometers going to the north. Another sample problem, we have here Joey drives his Skiro 70 kilometers north. He stops for lunch and then drives 5 kilometers east. What distance did he cover and then what was his displacement? Let us state the given values. We have here for the first displacement, 7 kilometers to the north. Second displacement is 5 kilometers to the east. And then we have to find the distance, total distance, and then the displacement. To find the total distance, you just have to add the individual magnitude disregarding the direction. So that is 7 kilometers plus 5 kilometers, and then therefore that is 12 kilometers. And then to find the displacement, you will be using the Pythagorean theorem since this is a perpendicular. So you have your 7 km going to the north, that is... Uh, let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then you also have 5 kilometers going to the east. So that will be from here, since this is a vector, you will have the head. You will continue up to the head. So that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. If you will plot this on a Cartesian plane that is in quadrant 1. Why? Because this arrowhead is upward and then we have here going to the east. So that is in quadrant 1. Then we have to find the displacement here. To find the displacement, Pythagorean. Then substitution. Your The value of your first displacement is 7 kilometers. Then square that plus 5 kilometers. Then square that. Then 7 km squared is 49 km squared plus 5 km squared is 25 km squared and then add that is 74 km squared then get the square root 70 the square root of 74 is 8.6 then get the first degree level of kilometers squared that is km therefore we have here for displacement 8.6 kilometers and then we also need to find since this is located in quadrant one we have to find its reference angle okay or the direction for the displacement so to find that, you will be having uh, quadrant 1 is equivalent to the reference angle. So that is inverse tangent multiplied to the value of y over x. And then inverse tangent, the value of your y is your d1. Your y-axis is the d1, which is 7 kilometers here. And then over the second displacement, which is 5 kilometers, this is your x-axis. X horizontal. So dividing that, that is 1.4. You have to cancel the km unit since that is division. Law of exponent. And then get the inverse tangent of 1.4, that is 54.46 degrees. For the fourth problem, we have here Brittany is on the starting line to run a track race. The distance around the track is 400 meters. She starts the race and runs 400 meters around the track. She ends up in the same place where she started. What distance did she cover? What was her displacement? So we have here the uh, given total distance of 400 meters. It is 400 meters because it is stated here in the problem that she starts the race and the track race covers a uh, distance of 400 meters. And you have here the word around meaning to say it is uh, circular. And we also have here the uh, clue that 
she ends up in the same place where she started. Supposedly, for example, she started here on this line. And then she ran the track. She ran across the track. And then she ends up on the same place. Remember again, whenever a person or an object ends up to its original position, the displacement is zero. Because there is no change in position. Okay, now let us calculate the total distance. Total distance is 400 meters because she ran across the racetrack for 400 meters. Okay, for the displacement, because she ends up to its or to her original position, then the displacement is zero. Another sample problem I have here, Anthony walks to the pizza place for lunch. He walked four kilometers east and then he realized that he passed it and then walked one kilometers to the west. What distance did he cover? What was his displacement? So for the given values, we have here the first displacement is 4 kilometers going to the east and second displacement is 1 kilometers going to the west. We have to find the total distance and the displacement. For the total distance, you just have to add the individual magnitudes of each displacement is regarding the direction. So that is 4 kilometers plus 1 kilometers. Therefore, the total distance he covered is 5 kilometers. And then for the solution in finding the displacement, since this is a parallel, meaning to say in one axis, you just have to add the displacement, okay? But you have to consider here now the direction by inputting the signs, okay? So we have here for the first displacement that is 4 kilometers to the east, therefore that is positive, plus the second displacement is going to the west, therefore that is negative, plus negative 1 kilometers, then that will be uh, plus multiplied to the negative sign, it will become subtraction. 4 km minus 1 km, that is 3 kilometers. So the direction that we have here is going to the, uh, which is the bigger one, positive one, going to the east. Therefore, the displacement is 3 kilometers going to the east. This is the change in position, 3 units. So if you will plot that in a graph, For example, so we have here 4 kilometers going to the east, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then bumalik siya ng 1 km from the head, so that is here, 1 km. So we have here the 3 units from the original position. Mula dito, 3 units yung change, okay? And then another problem we have here, on his fishing trip, Justin takes the boat 12 kilometers to the south. The fish are not biting, so he goes 4 kilometers to the west. What distance did he cover and what was his displacement? So, first let us state the given values. We have here the first displacement is 12 kilometers going to the south. Second displacement is 4 kilometers going to the west. We have to find the total distance and the displacement. To find the total distance, you just have to add the magnitudes of the individual displacement. And that is 12 kilometers plus 4 kilometers disregarding the uh, direction. So that will be 16 kilometers. Now for the displacement, for the solution of that, Pythagorean again. So you have your D1 squared. Your first displacement is 12 kilometers squared dot. Plus the second displacement is 4 kilometers squared dot. 12 kilometers squared is 144 kilometers squared. 4 kilometers squared, that is 16 kilometers squared. And then add, that will be 160 kilometers. Get the square root of 160, that is 12. 0.65 and then get the first degree of the kilometers that is km so the displacement that we have here is 12.65 km but we need we need to find the uh, exact location in reference to its location on the cartesian plane uh, so if you will graph this on the cartesian plane so it is going to the let me use another graph uh, going to the south that is 12 kilometers based on the arrowhead and then we also have here four kilometers to the west so from here it is here so, if that is in Cartesian plane, that is located on quadrant 3. Because the x-axis is negative and the y-axis is negative as well. So, therefore, that is in quadrant 3. Okay? And then, we have to find the... Since we already find the displacement, which is equivalent to 12.65 here, uh, the displacement, 12.65 km, we have to find the degree it is located in reference angle. So, for quadrant 3, that is... 180 plus the reference angle. Let us find first the reference angle. Inverse tangent is equivalent to the y over x. The value of your y is 12 km going down. And then your value of your x horizontal, that is 4 km. Divide that, that is 3. Cancel the units. And then 
we will have now the inverse tangent of 3 is 71.57 degrees. Then for the rule, since that is in quadrant 3, that is 180 plus the reference angle or 180 plus 71.57 degrees. Therefore, its location on the quadrant 3 is 251.57 degrees for the displacement. Another problem I have here, Preston goes on a camel safari in Africa. There, he travels 5 kilometers north, then 3 kilometers east. What distance did he cover? What was his displacement? Let us state the given values. First displacement is 5 kilometers to the north. Second displacement is 3 kilometers to the east. Now we have to find the distance and displacement. For the solution in finding the distance, you just have to add the individual magnitude of the displacement disregarding the direction. So adding that up, that is 5 km plus 3 km. Then the total distance is 8 kilometers. For the displacement, that is Pythagorean. The value of your first displacement is 5 kilometers, square that. The value of your second displacement is 3 kilometers, square that. 5 kilometers squared is 25 kilometers squared. 3 kilometers squared is 9 kilometers squared. Add that up, that is 34 kilometers squared. Get the square root, that is 5.83 kilometers. Now we have to find its exact location in the Cartesian plane by plotting the vectors and then find the degree of the reference angle. Now, since that is in quadrant 1, because you have here, uh, you have a positive y-axis, upward vertical, positive y-axis, and then you also have a positive uh, x-axis, so therefore that is in quadrant 1, positive, quadrant 1. You have to find the angle already, since you already find the displacement here on the hypotenuse. And then, to find that, that is in quadrant 1, that is equivalent to the reference angle, which is inverse tangent, Multiply to the value of y over x. The value of your y is 5 km based on the north sign, 5 km. And then the value of your x is in the 3 km going to the east. So that is that. Cancel the units, the km unit. And then divide 5 over 3 is 1.67. And then get the inverse tangent of that. That is 59.09 degrees. So this is the location of the displacement. Then next problem I have here. Nail Pogo sticks from his locker. To his science class. He travels 8 meters east and 8 meters west back to his locker. What distance did he cover? What was his displacement? So on this uh, problem, state the given. First displacement is 8 meters going to the east. Second displacement is 8 meters going to the west. Find the distance, find the displacement. For the distance, that is other individual magnitudes of the displacement is regarding the direction. So that is for first distance, that is 8 meters. And then the second distance is 8 meters. Then add that, that is 16 meters. For the solution on the displacement, since that is parallel or in the same axis, you just have to add that. But you have to consider the signs of the magnitude. Since for the 8 meters going to the east for the first displacement, is that is positive, 8 meters. And then since the second displacement is going to the west, then that is negative. So plus negative 8 meters. So 8 meters minus 8 meters, then therefore the displacement is 0. Kasi 8 meters to the east, then bumalik lang siya na 8 meters to the west. So the displacement is 0. Bumalik siya sa original position niya. Okay, let us have uh, some complex problem. I have here, on his way to school, Noel traveled the path as shown on the map here. So the scale is 1 cm. Each uh, scale here is equivalent to the 100 meters. You have to determine the total distance traveled by Noel and calculate Noel's displacement. So first, we have to identify the given displacements. We have here for first displacement, we have here, this, this is his house going to the north. That is 100 First displacement here. Second displacement, he is going to the uh, east. That is 300 meters. 1, 2, 3, 300 meters here. And then the third displacement is going to the north. Fourth displacement is going to the east 100 meters. And then fifth displacement is going to the north at 100 meters. Up to fifth displacement as you can see. We have to find the total distance and the Displacement, to find the total distance, you just have to add the individual magnitudes of the displacement disregarding their direction. So adding the magnitudes on its absolute value, that is 100 meters plus 300 meters plus 100 meters plus 100 meters plus 100 meters. Therefore, the total distance is 700 meters. Now we have to find the uh, displacement. To find the displacement, all you need to do is get the value of the 
x and y or the north and the east since meron kayong dalawang direction dito. Ang gagawin nyo lang, get the total displacement or total uh, displacement for the northward position. So, for the northward, it is, we have here the directions of D1, north yan. Yung D3 natin, north then So, kailangan ipagsamahin mo yung same variable, same direction. Okay? Kasi katulad ng sinabi ko yung Pythagorean dito, it is X and Y. And on this case, our Y is northward. So, pagsamahin natin lahat ng north. So, D1, then D3 is north as well. Then D5 is north as well. Get the values. D1 is 100 meters. D3 is 100 meters. D5 is 100 meters. Then add that. That is 300 meters. Now, we have to get the uh, value of the X going to the east. So, that is D2 going to the east, 300 meters. And then D4 is going to the east as well, 100 meters. Add that up. Therefore, the value of your x-axis or horizontal value for your displacement is 400 meters. Now, substitution. For this case, we have here 300 meters squared. Okay, you square the value of your northward displacement. And then the second one is 400 meters. That is, uh, you just added the same variable. So, 400 meters here. Squared is 1, 300 meters squared is 90,000. 400 meters squared is 160,000 meters squared. And then add that up, that is 250,000 meters squared. Get the square root, that is 500 meters. And then you have to find its uh, exact location in reference to its uh, position. So you have here north and east. Positive north, positive y, and then going to the east. So therefore, that is, is uh, this is in the first quadrant and the value of the degree on the first quadrant is equivalent to the reference angle so that is inverse tangent the value of your y or your northward is 300 meters and then the value of your x or eastward is 400 meters divide that cancel the unit the meter here and then you will have the reference angle of 36.87 degrees so therefore the displacement is 500 meters at 36.87 degrees and then another problem I have here, Alex goes cruising on his dirt bike. He rides 700 meters north, 300 meters east, 400 meters north, 600 meters west, 1,200 meters south, and then 300 meters east, and finally 100 meters north. What distance did he cover? What was his displacement? So to find that, you just have to state the given values. First displacement is 700 meters to the north. Second displacement is 300 meters to the east. Third displacement is 400 meters to the north. Fourth displacement is 600 meters to the west. Fifth displacement is 1,200 meters to the south. Sixth displacement is 300 meters to the east. And seventh displacement is 100 meters to the north. Find the total distance. Find the displacement. For the total distance, you just have to add the magnitudes of the displacement or the distance. This is guide the direction since this is a scalar quantity. So add that up. 700 meters plus 300 meters plus 400 meters plus 600 meters plus 1,200 meters plus 300 meters plus 100 meters. That is equivalent to 3,600 meters. That is the total distance he covered. 3,600 meters. Now let us find the displacement. So kung makikita ninyo, lahat ng directions nandito. So ang gagawin ninyo, uh, kunin ninyo lahat ng values ng northward, uh, southward, eastward, and westward. So, for the displacement going to the north, that is, uh, we have here for the first displacement going to the north, and then that is D1. And then D3, that is north as well. D7 is north as well. Okay, so you have to add that. 700 plus 400 plus 100, that is 1,200 meters. Now, let us get the directions on the east, the, the value of that for the displacement. That is D2 and D6 that is going to the east, 300 meters east. And then uh, D6 is going to the east as well at 300 meters. So add that up, 300 meters plus 300 meters. That is 600 meters. And then let us get the value of the displacement going to the west, which is D4, 600 meters, this one. And then let us get the value of the southward displacement, which is at D5, which is 1,200 meters, this one. And then, the next thing that we need to do is uh, solve the parallel uh, vectors. Since the north and south are parallel to each other or, uh, or they are in the same axis, you have to solve that. Okay, you have to add that. And consider in adding the signs of the magnitude. So, for the northward, it's positive 1,200. 
For the southward, it is 1,200 meters, but that is negative. So 1,200 meters plus negative 1,200 meters, that is zero. Let, then let us add the vectors going to the west and east. The total eastward value is 600 meters, this one. And then the total westward value is 600 meters as well. So that is negative. 600 meters plus negative 600 meters, that is zero. Therefore, you cannot input your a squared and b squared for the Pythagorean. So there, because all the vectors are in zero. So this displacement, therefore, is zero. Okay, that is the answer. Displacement is equals to zero. Okay, so that is all for this lecture video on sample problems regarding distance and displacement.